G'day mates. A few weeks back, I was checking out the seal performance on some of these top selling CPAP masks. The F40 here, the Evora Full, and the F20. And the Evora Full came out on top. However, back then I had a beard. And I thought, maybe we should do the test again without the beard. I've got a bit of stubble, a few days growth. I thought, We'll do the test with the stubble now, and then I'll go inside and have a proper shave, and we'll compare the results. We got beard, we got stubble, we got clean shaven. I know which one my wife prefers, clean shaven, unfortunately for me, but let's check it out. Now, we're using here the Magic Uploader. So this is data in real time. It connects my CPAP up to my home Wi-Fi and just sends all that data straight up to Sleep HQ. So we can see it right here, and you can see I've got Magic Uploader connected to Sleep HQ, and it's connected to the Wi-Fi SD card. And we'll start with the F40. Here we go. All right, let's check it out. All right, here it is just here. All right, so this is the mask leak here. Now it's 15 centimeters of pressure, so quite high. And there we go, around the 27 liters per minute mark. All right, there's my breathing. Breathing in, breathing out. Now let's change masks. We'll go with the F20. Now I would expect this mask to seal better. All right, so now we have the F20 data. And look at that. I had that really tight then. Up here now at 48 liters per minute, much higher. And let's try another mask. Let's go with the Evora Full. All right, the Evora Full. Here we go. Actually looks better. All right, so there's an improvement there with the Evora Full down here at the sort of 16, 17, 18 liters per minute mark. All right, off we go, starting with the F40. All right, here we go. So leak rate around the 14, 15 liters per minute. Now, while I was doing this test, I thought to myself, why don't we put a VCOM in and see if that changes? So I'm just gonna grab the VCOM. Give me one second. All right, so I'll insert the VCOM and we'll just run a quick test just to see if the leak rate drops with VCOM. Here we go. And it has, check that out, hey? So originally it's up here, sort of that 14, 15 mark, and now it's sort of down here at that um, 10 level. All right, next up, let's do the Evora. So no more VCOM. We'll do another VCOM test another day, but it certainly drops the leak. All right, so here we have the Fisher & Pike Lavora Full. Perfect seal. We had this little section in the beginning when I was starting the mask, but then look, no mask leak at all. Very, very good. Now let's check out the AirFit F20. Now this is the new non-magnetic version that's been released in Australia. So it's safe for pacemakers and other implantable devices. All right, here we go. So what do we got here? Around the sort of 10 mark? 10 to sort of 13? Pretty good. Now I'll head inside, have a quick shave, and we'll repeat the test. Other than that, I'm in good shape. Ah! All right, smooth as a baby's bum. Let's go. We'll start with the F40 again. So here's the F40, what were we? Around the 15 mark. All 
big difference. Check that out. <laughs> Virtually no leak. We probably don't need to do the Evora full because it was already on zero, so it's gonna be zero again. But let's check out the F20. Here we have the F20 and it hasn't really improved much. Still at the 10 liters per minute. I will just grab one more mask. The Leuvenstein Lina. Here we go, baby. Let's do it. And just as expected, perfect seal. Thanks for watching, mates. Until next time, sleep well, look after you, mates. And I'll see you soon. Cheers. G'day, mates. This video is sponsored by Sleep HQ. Upload, review, and share your detailed CPAP reports with anyone from anywhere. Visit sleephq.com and join our free community today.